Hey kids. Okay, so today I'm gonna to go over how to draw some teapots. I'm gonna start with a relatively basic teapot and get progressively more elaborate. And um, each one is gonna have real similar features, right? It's gonna have a body that would hold the um, hot water for the tea. It's gonna have a spout. It's gonna have some type of handle and then some type of lid. A lot of them have a foot, which is like a separate part that the whole thing rests on, on the table. That's not necessary. But once you get the hang of, you know, the body, the handle, the spout, the top uh, or the lid, right? And the foot, you can sort of combo these together and make any really fun, interesting teapot that you want to design. The first one I'm gonna start with is a basic, starting with kind of a basic circle, right? So I'm gonna put a circle on the paper like this. And then I'm going to separate out where the lid is gonna be with a rounded part here. I'm gonna put a spout here. Oh, it's about to come in and come down here like this. It attaches there. Maybe I want that to be a little bit closer. Don't really want it quite so far away. That looks a little better. Like that. You want it to be kind of proportional, so you don't want your spout to be like so large that it would look like it's going to tip the whole thing over, right? So that was the problem with the original one. And then let's put a foot down here. So maybe something like this and then sort of keep that simple like this. And then a handle. So the handle is always going to have like an inner line and an outer line and they don't actually have to be the same. So a lot of times there's a decorative component on the outside of the handle that is not replicated on the inside of the handle or vice versa. So you can sort of make up your own handle. You can do something like that. Now you need to be able to grab this lid. So most of them have something here that you could kind of, you know, hold on to so you don't burn yourself if you have to take the lid off. Okay, now let's go over this in Sharpie. And see, already I can tell this should have been over a little bit more. So I'm going to move that to there. And then I'm going to center this better there. that and then let's put maybe a double line here so it looks like you know the seam or the edge of the pot Okay, something like that. Now, the fun thing about these teapots is not only designing all the different parts of your teapot, but then decorating them, you know, so we can have all different kinds of patterns, stripes, um, colors, lots of fun stuff to it. I'm going to erase the pencil lines off this and get ready to draw number two here. Okay, so for this one, it's going to be 
a similar beginning except we're going to stretch this part out so it's rounded but you want to make the rounded part a little bit longer like this actually i'm not going to have enough room on here for this i'm going to have to make it a little smaller because this teapot got a little wide didn't it so I'll start with this size. And now you're going to put the bottom in. And we'll put a similar thing here, maybe make it a little smaller because it'll fit better. Right like that. And then again with the seam right here. Except this time, instead of having a rounded top, maybe this top can dip in this way. And instead of having a, you know, little um, like dresser knob looking kind of handle, sometimes they have like ceramic fruit that's built right into the pot. So maybe this is like a cluster of grapes and this could be like a peach or a plum and then maybe a pear up here. You could make yours an apple or you know, something simple. You don't have to make it be too much fruit, but I know that I have definitely seen this type before. And then let's give it a tiny little spout so that it fits here. Like that. And then for the handle, right, it has an inner and outer line. And again, they don't have to be the same. So maybe this one comes up this way and then down like this. And then that could go like that. Let's put the dip here so it has nice wide. You want them to attach well to the pot. Like in reality, you don't want the handle to break off because that would be bad. And that does look a little too thick. So when I do the Sharpie, I'll just make that a little smaller. So now let's go over this with Sharpie. We'll put a line here. And then we'll dip this down here, this here, close it up, put on the foot, put on the handle, I'm sorry, the spout, then the handle. I'm just going to make that a little smaller. Like that. And then kind of develop some of these grapes. the peach or the plum, whatever you want that to be, the top of the pear, maybe there's something else there, part of the grape, and then we can just come down here to that. Okay, I'll erase this, show you real quick, and I'll move on to number two and number three on another piece of paper. Okay, so there's the one with the fruit detail. Now, the next two are going to have a dip in and then back out shape. So let's put this one in first. You know what? I want to make sure these both fit. Let's put 
right there. Yeah, I'm going to be able to fit them both. Okay, so instead of having the outside be, you know, kind of bowed out, this one has a bow in and then back out again shape here. Close off the bottom. And then for this foot, if you want, you could try doing something like a scalloped bottom. So it's just like this instead. And then maybe across the top too. So instead of going straight across, it could be like this. And then the lid sits inside. So let's make kind of a bell shape here. And then we can give this that same scallop top. And then another little top for the handle. And now we can put this in. Maybe that has something like that at the spout. And then let's put, so I'm going to have an outside and inside line, but I want them to be kind of, you know, fit the style. So this might have a piece here that's extra on the top and here and here. No, this is tough to see in pencil. And then maybe another one here. And then when I go over this in Sharpie, you'll be able to see this much better. So let's do this top. that in. Put that in. Close up the bottom. There's obviously a whole bunch of different ways you can style these. You do not have to be doing it this way. And you can put all these different styles together too. So I'm going to show you a bunch of different things you can do with teapots. I think I have three more after this. And then, of course, you can always be designing your own, which is so fun. All right, let me erase this and show you number four. Okay, so for number four, you're going to start with something similar to this, but again, you're going to kind of stretch it out a little bit. So this is a taller one. So we're going to have the dip in and then down and then the dip in and then down. And maybe come back up here for the top. something for it to sit on, which again is optional. It's really common when you have a bottom like this because a two rounded bottom obviously just wobble over. But when you get to the flat bottom style, you know, they can sit right down. They don't need a foot. And then let's do something fun for this handle. So let's have this and then that. that and connects there here and there
and something fun for its spout. So let's do the spout. And then just like the one that had like the fruit kind of built into the top, some of them have like plants or leaves built right onto the design. So this one might have you know, some kind of like leaf style built onto it. Let's maybe make like some overlapping something here. And now the lid can be even more elaborate. So let's make the bell shape here, but then it can bow out there and then come back in. We do want to kind of keep things centered though. So I'm going to move my bell over a little bit. If it's got leaves here, maybe it's got some kind of flower up here for the handle. And then some of them have like um, a lid that just flips up. It doesn't come off the whole way. So to do that, you'll just connect these two together with a hinge. It doesn't have to be anything too fancy. But it's just connected. All right, let's go over this with Sharpie. And then this would have a part here and a part here that would connect. Okay, let me erase this and I'll show you number four and number five. I know kids, I could hear you yelling. Ms. Johnson, that was number four. You're right, you're right. Number five and number six, these are the last two. Okay, so this first one is a lot of fun. The handle, instead of going on the side, is gonna go up on the top. So you'll only have the spout to one side and the handle on top instead. We're gonna start with like an oval shape. And then we can give it a little flip thing down here. Can indent this, that's fun.
Looks kind of like an elephant trunk. And then we'll have something here to start into the neck. So we can give it this shape. And then the top of the neck. Still gets a lid. Okay, now the parts that would hold the handle would come out from here, here, and then you can make any kind of decorative component you want to kind of work your way up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to end and make this part across here the handle, right? So this can be any kind of decorative component you want also. I'm going to start by trying to center it and then have it be the same on both sides so it's symmetrical and that will give it the you know the best look so I'll have a piece here that starts to work its way up and a piece here and then maybe this curls in And then maybe this curls out. And then if this is like a center part, then this can go this way. And this can go that way. Maybe another part here and here, and then just out to meet that. There, there, and then you have to really look at it to figure out what in the world I just did. There to there. Okay. Oof. All right. Let me go over this with Sharpie. You'll be able to see it better. And I'll show you the last one, number six. Okay, so the video is getting a little long, so I didn't want to have to, you know, Sharpie all this and have you sit here and wait. But what I did was I went over my lines with Sharpie. You have a lid, you have a neck, you have a body, you have a foot, you have a spout, and then you can work your handle up any kind of way you see fit and design an interesting part to hold it with right at the top so fun all right so now the last one is going to be a little different we're starting with this shape but we're going to turn it into um, planes so flat sections on the edge so let's come down here like this And then we're actually going to go straight across here. Those meet up there. And then straight line here, and then we can do a straight line here. Now, you don't have to kind of count it out like I am, but I'm doing straight line here, straight line here. I'm angling it here, angling it there, like that. And I'll show you why. And then straight line here, straight line, but slanted up, straight, but slanted up the other way. Okay, so far so good. Now, these are going to come in, 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 
in and then once again straight straight angled up straight angled up now you're going to aim for the top the lid is going to have you know a little spot on top you can grab with like everything else and this is going to kind of slope down to here and slope down to here you can do this any way you want and then you know something to hold this with let's make it a little bit more angular because the curve doesn't look so good with this because it's got all the angles on it okay now for the handle we're going to make that angular too so we can come up here and here and then have a seam right come up here go over over so you're basically making your inner and your outer line but they're they're straight in some places which is different than we've done for the other ones and then down here and because it isn't curved like because this is a flat side you can show the inside line also right there if you want to the seams will be angled maybe you see the flat line there for that inside as well and now here you're going to make a line here to here here to here this is a corner right here so you're kind of making lines to the corners line to this corner that corner and then one more to that corner that corner now you're going to bring a line down from here to here and here to here if you have to pause this video or if you have to um, you know watch this part again or if you're like miss Johnson I'm not doing this all those are totally fine this is just how you would do it and now for the handle can, I'm sorry for the spout you can make this regular shape but again it's flat so this is going to have the inside line visible right here just like that one did and then instead of an oval at the top we didn't make that on this page but we made it on a different page I think it would be a rectangle on the top I'll show you that make this connecting line here and here this will all be much clearer in Sharpie, I promise. Okay. So it's a straight line here. It's a straight line here. An angle up. An angle up. Now it's straight up. Mine are actually tilting a little in because I can't help myself with the perspective, but you can go straight up. This is actually over a little bit and then back, and over a little bit and then back. There's two angles shown there, and I'm not committing because I want to put this line in first. So straight across. Angle up. Angle up. These lines, I'm making, I'm trying to make them a little thicker than the other lines so they look like details or seams. And then this can come down to here. This can come down to here. This can come down to here. This to here. Do your lines have to be perfect? No, of course not. I'm not a robot. And then this seam here and here. Those are going to my corners here. 
here, here, there, straight across, angled up, angled up, down, 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 and then here you can have maybe a little bit of fun there, a little bit of fun there, a fun there, a bit of fun there, close up for the little knob at the top. And now this one, you see a little bit of the front of this. A little bit of the top of that. You're kind of looking down on this, that's why. And then that is a rectangle. Oof. Holy. All right, I'll erase this and I'll show you how it looks. Okay, kids. So thank you so much for hanging out with me for like half an hour drawing pots. This has been a lot of fun for me and I hope you enjoy it. I'm just making some of these lines thicker because like I said, I really can't help myself. But you <laughs> don't have to. You can start designing your own pots now. You really have lots of ideas you can work with. Or you can just stop and color in all the ones you've done. There's so many fun patterns and designs you can put on a teapot. Like, the sky's the limit. Let's shade that in. Okay, kids. Enjoy. <laughs>